signs welcome into the weekend i hope this is fun for you i hope this is uh exciting it's saturday morning here in the states anyway welcome in this is the air sign reading gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising and venus hope everything is going well with you feel free to swap around the energies as always i will be talking likely to a cross watcher at some point in this reading um if you are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, I'm going to pull individual cards for those individual signs in the extended. So uh, I used to do these uh, air, fire, earth, water readings, energy readings back in the day, and it just seemed like I would like to do it again. <laughs> They're just super fun. So, all right, let's see where we go. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Honestly, pay attention to titles. Pay attention to the titles. If the earth reading resonates for you, check it out. Okay. All right. Here we go. Tick tock. Tick tock. Loyal heart. Orphaned. Okay. So um, I'm feeling here that somebody uh, left a relationship before it was time or somebody left you before you were like even aware that they were out the door. Okay, and it's something that really does come as a surprise. This was a surprise. Um, if this is uh, in the future, then I think this is, a, is what's known as a heads up. Okay, um, I feel like you've been very loyal. I feel like you've been doing everything you need to be doing. And um, suddenly things are going to change. So let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go. That's a five card, so that's definitely about change. Yeah, ten of swords. Something is done. Wheel of Fortune could be could be um, hanging with a Sag or a Pisces. Let's see, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Hermit, Four of Cups, Two of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. Uh, I feel like this per well, I see Virgo here. Virgo, Sag, Pisces, okay? And I feel like you really thought this was going to be the person. For some of you, this could be a situation where you are involved with somebody right now. And if you are feeling that they're dragging their feet, if that's your, uh, are you getting some, in, some um, intuition that you're ignoring? I feel like this is kind of like, hey, pay attention. You could be working um, a little too hard at this. You could be, you know, engaging a little bit too much and they're sort of looking back to the past. They're looking um, at some other situation. So this could be a this could be somebody that you've met at work or somebody that you have decided um, that you're going to move forward with. And I feel like they're going in a different direction because the, the Knight of Cups and the Hermit are looking back. They're looking back. Your cards are going toward the future. Okay. And I feel like they're looking back. They're also this four of cups. They're also kind of, you know, dragging their feet a little bit. So I, I would pay attention to that. I wouldn't blow that off, I guess is my point. Um, let me clarify the hermit. Let me clarify the hermit. Star energy, there you are, Aquarius. Tower. Uh huh. Ace of Wands. Justice. Wow, there's Libra. Nine of Wands. Okay, so you see the, the parallel here. You're looking at this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. They're kind of in this Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands kind of space. I feel like they're, um, they're somebody who really um, is looking for drama and passion. Okay, there's somebody who is really looking for that in their life. And I feel like they might have misunderstood um, how love works. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say that to you. I, I feel like they, they're always looking for, you know, the big reveal. They're always looking for something like that. And I just feel like that's not how loyalty works. Okay, that's really not how it works. Um, you're doing a good job of creating something stable and something solid. This person is looking for, I think, just looking for something different. Okay. And I feel like if you choose yourself right now, 
choose to build your own stability, um, I, I feel like that's going to work really well for you. I feel like this person um, may suddenly just go away. Okay. It feels to me like a very sudden ending. And if this is, um, if, if this is you, then I feel like you're, you might not be paying attention to the, to the red flag. So I think that that's what this is about. TikTok, you know, head a little bit of a heads up here. Okay. Um, this person is still needing a lot of healing. They're not very balanced. Um, there's somebody who really holds on to the past. Okay, they're really um, still focused on the past. The Knight of Cups here, Chariot, Three of Wands, Knight of Swords, King of Wands. Um, the Sagittarius energy is pretty loud here. Sag, Virgo, Pisces. I feel, and, and Cancer. Okay, Sag, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer. I'll take a look at those in the extended in addition to pulling cards for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It, this does feel to me like they have idealized someone. They've put somebody on a pedestal. Um, and I feel that all of their cards are going back to the past. I'm sorry if I can't show you. I'm in a different place here, a little bit different. So <laughs> they're all going back to the past. And, and the Three of Wands is sort of like looking away from the situation. They're ready to take some kind of action. They could be going toward a fire sign. Okay, a fire sign feels like to me. Or they're the ones, the Sag energy, ready to take some kind of action. Okay, um, I feel like you're building something really good for yourself. I, I don't think you should get too invested in this situation. I think this person isn't really sharing a lot of their information with you. They're kind of holding everything inside. Um, and I feel like, you know, you might be working really hard at this and everything. I wouldn't invest too much time in this. Okay. I really wouldn't. I would, I would be investing in you. Invest in yourself. Okay. Because this is really, um, the best way to att attract love is to be in love with yourself. And if this is just you, if this is, if this is all you, this is, you kind of maybe yearning for someone in the past and that's not happening, but you're doing a good job of building yourself right now. I feel like that's a really good thing because anything from the past, I feel like can just go away or can move on. And it's not something that really has any staying power. So focusing on anybody from the past, I don't think is going to work here for you. I think it's really about looking to the future, building yourself, building some stability, um, if this person has one foot out the door and you're not really paying attention, I think that that could show up pretty suddenly. Uh, I think the, the universe is telling you to pay attention. Okay. Um, I mean, what is that about? What is that about? Five of cups, nine of swords, seven of swords, page ones. This person is really conflicted. Um, if they if they were recently divorced, I think they're still their head is still back in that relationship. I think they haven't been able to offload that energy yet. Okay, I think they haven't done the work of that. And I think when they do some healing here, when they do release and let go, it's not right now. They're they're kind of looking for a teacher or somebody to help them. And I feel like you might be a very good soul and be willing to be of service to this person, but. I, I think the answer here is not to overgive. The answer is to really give to yourself and, you know, give what you want. I mean, if this person is somebody that, you know, is just a little mixed up or something like that, it's, I, I think that's totally fine. But I think there's a lot of stuff this person's not sharing with you. And I think that you would be um, good to kind of hold yourself back from this situation right now and not give too much because this person looks to me like they're, they could bolt any second. They look to me like they could also, if they're dragging their feet, that's a thing. So start paying attention, start paying attention to this person. If this is, if this is your scenario, um, I do feel like, you know, just to, you know, kind of foreshadow the extended here. I do think that your awareness here, your awakening to this, uh, situation that's kind of stuck, 
that's not really moving, could be your work, but this feels like a, a relationship, um, then your awareness of this all of a sudden is going to break apart some things for you that do need healing. This person is in your life to be a teacher to you, to reflect some things to you that need some healing. So I feel like uh, Aquarius and, and Libra showing up here pretty loud with the tower. Um, I do feel like this is something that, you know, is going to serve you to blow apart some past um, ways of doing relationships. I think this is, you know, you might be somebody who, who idealizes uh, a partner without really seeing who they are. You might not, um, not, uh, you know, you might also attract people who are kind of secretive. All right. So there's something about that. Okay. So in the extended, I will pull individual guidance cards for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I will also look at Sag, Pisces, um, Virgo cancer. Okay. Okay. All right. If you want to continue on with me, the link is below. I'll see you over there air sign.